Ever since I was born, I've had one warning drilled into my mind. Stay away from the nomads. They are corrupt and evil and selfish. They do not contribute to society. They do not belong in our society. Efficiency and innovation advance civilization. That is the fundamental truth of our society. We have a limited time to live, and we need to optimize every moment in order to maximize efficiency. The nomads could never understand this, so we stay away. Please exit the building for your 13 and a half minutes of daily outdoor time. All right, everyone out. Don't stray too far. Three, four, two. Don't touch that. It's dirty. Do you know how many germs you probably attracted? Come here. You realize if you get sick, you can't work. If you can't work, you can't contribute to society. So, you should probably keep working if you know what's good for you. Nomads have been sighted nearby. Please ensure that you are secure inside the building. If you encounter the nomads, do not engage with them. They will corrupt you. Everybody in, now! Hey, they shouldn't be getting this close to the compound, should they? No, no, they're, they're getting bolder. Right side. I'm not afraid of you. What? I know what you are. You're savages, yeah? I see you. I see right through you. I know exactly what you want. Well, it's not gonna work. You can't corrupt me. Sweetie, we're not here to corrupt you. What? I'm Skye. These are Lynx, Phoenix, and Blossom. What's your name? My... what? Your name. What you're called. Oh, you mean my code? I'm 1829J342, or just 342 for short. You have words for your codes? How does that even work? You don't have a name? Oh, you poor thing. Why do your clothes look like that? Like what? So explosive, I don't know, cluttered, loud. I've never seen so many colors in one place before. Colors belong apart. We learned this in section three of our schooling. Clutter causes unrest and anxiety and can cause a decrease in productivity and efficiency. You shouldn't dress like that. We're not exactly angling for efficiency here, hon. Yeah, I know. You're nomads. We learned about you. 
They taught us everything you don't want us to know. Oh yeah? Like what? Like, I know you like to destroy anything built by my people because you like chaos. And you kidnap our children, teach them to hate us. And I know you would murder every single one of us in our sleep if you had the chance. Well, that's quite a lot. Do you deny it? Yes, I do. Tell me, 342, have your teachers ever shown you any proof that we are as evil as you claim? Do you know why we might do such horrible things? Why we might hate you so much? And do you understand why they haven't shown you any proof? I'll tell you why. Because there isn't any. Because they lied. Why should I believe you and not them? Why should you believe them and not us? Because they're my people. I trust them. Let me tell you about us, the real nomads, not your storybook villains. We wander from place to place. We sing, we play music, we dance. We laugh and we talk and we tell jokes. We want to enjoy life. We carry no hate for you or your people. We don't know much about your lifestyle, but we know that efficiency is important to you. I can promise you that we have never destroyed anything and never kidnapped your children and never wanted to murder anyone. Why should I believe you? My teachers wouldn't lie. Why would they say those things if they weren't true? I don't know why they'd lie, but tell me, 342, are you encouraged to accept other lifestyles? Efficiency is your priority, but do you have the freedom to hold other values? Do you think that someone can live differently and still be happy? Of course not. Our way is the right way. Other societies in other countries allow too much freedom and waste their lives away, losing a minute here, a minute there, having too many children or not enough children, and throwing the whole economy out of whack. They waste their time listening to stories and music and watching fictional videos that aren't even educational. They take their sweet time choosing their own romantic partners and pushing onto their children the myth of a force called love. In some places, they only work 40 hours a week. So much time wasted. I wouldn't want to live like that, ever. 342? Yes? Are you happy? Am I what? Are you happy? I do well in my job. I work very efficiently and I know I never waste time. I feel good about that. Does that answer your question? Paging worker 1829J342. Please return to work immediately to avoid a penalty. Repeat. Paging worker 1829J342. Please return to work immediately to avoid a penalty. I should get back. Well, then we won't keep you. Have a lovely day. Yes, 342's proof that it's true. I pity them. Me too. Why do their people hate us so much? Because we're different. I mean, why else? Or because they really do believe that we'll corrupt them. How can they keep living their efficient little lives, believing that their way is the best way? If they can accept that our people are as good as them, and our lifestyle is a way anyone can live, then they would have options and choices. Where's your sweet efficiency then? Are you... 
No. Are you happy? Yes. We love the way we live our lives. We have freedom, friendship, and family. Of course we are happy. Come with us. What? Come with us. You're not stuck. You have choices. Live our lives with us. Be free. I can't. I don't want to. What does freedom even mean? Why don't you find out? You need a name. I'd like to call you Rain. Rain? Like the weather? Yeah, it's poetic. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Ever since I was born, I've had one warning drilled into my mind. Stay away from the nomads. But then, I grew up, and I found my freedom, and with it, happiness.